I am unmuted. Everything seems to be good this time. Damn it. What a nightmare this all has been. Well, hello, everyone. I'm Jeff, and welcome back. I'm streaming now. Hopefully without weird bitrate drops and interruptions and all sorts of nonsense like that. So hopefully we can finish... Dark Souls finale for charity. Let, oh, I got myself a paper cut at some point. Streaming Dark Souls. Okay, it should be good. Anyways. <clears throat> Hello one and all. Welcome to what should hopefully be the finale of our Dark Souls stream. Uh, we did some stuff. I basically, due to trying to use a new setup, botched about an hour of streaming. But I didn't really do anything. Um, and the only reason I'm bringing this up is so that, like, nobody's surprised in the VOD when it's like, this isn't exactly where we left off, and stuff is different, and you have stuff that you didn't have before. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the endgame content of the original Dark Souls. This is the Prepare to Die edition with DS Fix enabled. Oh, and I've had so many weird technical issues and weird non-technical issues going along with this stupid thing. So hopefully everything's working now, and without further ado, we can actually do the finale of the thing and play the game that I said we was going to play. So, <clears throat> we're butting right up against Seat the Scaleless, and we still have the Demon Ruins to do. Uh, my plan is to do the Demon Ruins and then go deal with Seath and then deal with the Bed of Chaos and then do the actual finale of the game. And the reason I'm doing it in that order is one, to just grab bonfires to be able to warp to and from, but I want to... I want to finish Logan's side quest but be able to equip the spells that we get off of him right away. So it looks like the actual stream is cool. There don't seem to be any weird frame drops or anything like that. There doesn't seem to be any weird discrepancies with the stream, though I might as well bring that back up and keep a closer eye on it here. Auto refresh on. Okay, maybe we are having issues still. So what I'm gonna do? <sighs> so weird. Okay, let's jump in here on our friend, and let's go take care of something that needs to be taken care of which is boss we need to go to the daughter of chaos so if y'all remember correctly or if y'all remember way back at the very beginning of this whole thing that we did I had feels like this should open to something but it never does at least I don't remember it doing that Anyways, when I got here the first time in the very first stream, we were stoked, and I was riding high on my happy emotions, and I decided that I'm going to go mess around with the Ceaseless Discharge boss. And I screwed up the quick kill, and we're totally having stream issues. Hmm. It's definitely my internet. We'll try this. Oh. I really actually want to stream today, and I'm going to be super annoyed if I'm not able to do that. 
So we're going to rest here with our big boy 15 Estus. And we are going to head back down over there to deal with that guy around the corner there. Whose frame rate is totally freaking out. And hopefully the internet decides to cooperate. So I don't exactly know how to approach this boss from a regular fight. I've seen it done maybe once. Um, and it seems like the boss is built around tanking this, like, ultra Kamehameha beam. So, in the spirit of being able to tank an ultra Kamehameha beam, I want to grab something that protects from fire damage. Can I at least... Nope, I can't. Damn it. Alright, what do I have that'll protect from fire almost as good as the Black Knight shield? You need 16 strength to do that thing. Alright, the blood shield has 70% compared to 55. 70. Do we have anything down this way? No. Okay, so it looks like the blood shield is actually going to be our shield of choice for this little fight that we're about to have here. Um, because he shoots fire beams, basically. And so what I want to do is I want to get around the corner to where he is going to be. And I want to get over to the area by where I stole his sister's clothes. God, you are ugly. Woo! Well, that just missed me. And we have successfully gotten over here. So that's the hit we're supposed to tank. And I can't even hit him with my magic. So that's not cool. But maybe we can poke his... We can. And the poke actually does a good amount of damage. So this is unfortunately the fight. Tank the hit, get in there, and poke. Hopefully, poke correctly. Alright, what is this? What are you doing? Holy crap. I took those terribly. So what have we learned from this? We have learned that he... will knock us down with every hit he gets us with. So my question now is, do I unequip what I have and put on something that has more fire resistance? Do I have anything like that? 17 fire defense, 22 fire defense. Forty-six. Forty-six is the best of what I have on me right now. Twenty-seven on the guardian gauntlets. Alright, so I've got these big weird-ass stone guardian gloves on me, and I've got my old face thing on. I wonder if... I, oh, I can't equip it, so that's a moot point and a pointless question. Can I get down there without killing him? 
No, I cannot, because I have to go across that to get down there to the demon runes. Which, by the way, there's the demon runes. There, there they are. All right, let's try this again. I wonder if these will do any good. Just basically get up on his arm and... So that attack goes through everything. So like, I'm not even safe back here. Also, I seem to have taken the same amount of damage from that, not blocking as blocking. All right, Ceaseless, what's your game? That hurt him. That hurts him so bad. I just got to do that one more time and we're good. Oh, was that? That was it. That was Ceaseless Discharge. And of course it's happening while the stream's crappy, so... Wow. Well, we did it. We got rid of the lava. Woo. Oh, man. <laughs> Alright, clearly my internet does not want to work with me here today. We got, what, 20k souls off of him, so I have exactly 30,000 souls now, so that would, we got that going for us, but I'm still worried about the stream itself, so... Give me a second here, y'all. According to this, the stream keeps going down and we just don't have anything in the way of a good connection here. It says it's excellent right now. And the last report was from 904. Bring it up, what do we got? Hmm. I just, I want to make sure this is good. As of right now, it's not even necessarily showing that I'm on. And that is upsetting to me. Okay, refresh the damn thing. Thanks for tuning in, person hanging out in the stream. I apologize that we're just at the desktop right now, but I'm having a couple stream issues related to dropped frames, and I'm trying to see exactly what's going on. And it's not showing me. In fact, it's showing me that my stuff is super stable and fine. So, 
May maybe it's good, maybe it's not. Either way, we'll continue on. Oh, man. Well, that... That wasn't the worst ceaseless discharge fight ever, I guess, right? And we're about to have some serious, serious fun because we're about to run into some guys who we haven't seen since the very beginning of the game and haven't been an issue for us since then either. I really hope this damn thing is doing all right. It is frustrated. Let's get my actual set back on. Go back to Crown of the Dark Sun. That one's good. Get the dingy gloves, and we got the bloodstained skirt. Okay. Dingy set. And there was a drop in quality there. Damn it. I think that was supposed to look like this. I don't know why that looked like that. Weird. Anyway, so as the cutscene showed before I windowed out. God damn this. Mm. Hey, if there's any issues with the stream, like actually seeing it, if you could let me know in the chat, I would really appreciate it. I don't know what's going on anymore. Anyway, so we're about to have some fun because we're about to run into some bros we haven't run into since the very beginning of the game. And it's those Taurus demons. And then over there, there are Capra demons. And as you can imagine, they haven't gotten any stronger. Actually, I think they might be a little bit stronger. But we've gotten way stronger. Actually, let me get my correct shield back up. And now we're back running the good set. I'm getting really salty about the quality of this stream. So if you look, that does almost their entire health bar of damage to their nuts. It's kind of ridiculous how... What are you even trying, bro? Obviously the... Uh, well, not obviously. I should mention the uh, the helmet I'm wearing, Dark Sun Gwendolyn's boosts sorceries. So part of the reason I have it equipped is because it's going to cause more damage with the sorceries. Oh, boy. Yeah, just keep, just keep running up on me. It's fine. So there's another dead one. Sorcerer is the ultimate lame it out. Ultimate lame it out strats. Feels good. Man, this place is absolutely screwed up. Oh, neck pain. I wonder how well the soul spears do on these guys. Because the last time I fought one of these guys, I had soul arrow. Like, that's it. Hits them for almost their entire health bar. And even that does like... It's like a five poke game at this point. Which is nuts. I got the demon's great axe. That's cool. There's items over there I can't grab until later. Uh, because I'm going to get something that allows me to... Exist in lava at some point later. So there's actually kind of no point in going over here. But that's kind of hilarious. Also, there's the demon ruins, by the way. There's a big tree growing over it. Okay. So, yeah, the way I want to go is actually over there. And let's see. Can I pan this without spinning it too much? Look at that, bro. Y'all remember fighting the Capra Demon down in the hellhole? Well, now there's a Capra Demon, but there's no hellhole. Now there's just a big open area in which to strafe around him and poke him. But... We're also going to hilariously murder him <laughs> with homing soul masses. Because why the hell not? Hey, look, he sees me. Okay. <laughs> 
I love the concept of like I love the concept of an enemy coming back. Oh, I need to do something. I love the concept of like an enemy coming back, like a a, a boss that you had like a major problem with. Um, in the early part of a game, coming back and just being a normal enemy later, and then you just wipe the floor with them. It's so satisfying to me. Okay, let's go on. I really hope this stream isn't too bad. So I'm coming up here to go human so that we can experience a cool thing. If I haven't explained what's going on yet. Where's that damn bonfire? Should be right about here. Yeah, okay. Taking a little extra time, but... Gosh, the stream feel... I feel so bad about this stream, and I can't do anything about it. And I can't make it better. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I reverse hollowing. I'm human again. You can see my pretty luscious lips. My boy lips. That's phrase I'm not going to repeat. Um, but yeah, so we got that going for us, and so we're going to go down here and do some stuff. I have never experienced stream issues like this with a wired connection, which is super frustrating. Oh, it's actually causing me neck pain from the stress. Oh, Demon Bro is back, and that's fine because we have all our spells back. So we're... Wow, the uh, UI glitching in and out is super annoying. So we're going to be running into another boss. Actually, fairly quickly after this. God, they don't even give you, they don't even give you, like, boss level souls. They give you 800 souls. <laughs> I have an alarm going off on my phone upstairs that I should have with me, honestly, because I have a plumber coming to fix my damn hot water heater, which exploded yesterday. Weakness Sniper. There we go. Kirk. So this is Kirk. The most difficult part about this boss fight is where you have it. But he's weak to that stuff. And it looks like the stream didn't even want to pick it up. Oh, no, we got it. We got it. So that's good. We got that going for us. So I'm going to go back to these homing soul masses because we know one good hit from them takes care of these guys. Look at them just looking at me. The fact that it takes one of these spells to take care of these guys is so satisfying to me. So it also means I'm conserving spells for the boss that's coming up. Let's see. We got the Demon Great Machete, which is his weapon, which is super cool that we get that off of these guys. There we go. There's more down. Yeah, I keep having these damn connection issues here. But there's nothing I can really do about that right now. So these guys are a problem. For melee builds. But hey, guess what? I'm not a melee build. 
So screw you. Those guys are actually really, really tough. So he was blocking a bonfire that we can now use to deal with the boss coming up. Yes, I know I have 72,000 souls that I need to spend, so I'm going to do that. But first, I'm going to pop a bunch of these other souls. And this is why I wanted to come down here. Oh, it's on my quick bar, so fine. This is why I wanted to come down here, because I'm going to be able to, with the enemies that are down here and their general weakness to magic, I'm going to be able to get my intelligence up where I want it to be here soon. Well past the soft cap. Oh, excuse me. Well past the soft cap and just generally way better. So we've got a Taurus demon, another Capra demon, a bunch of these little flame guys which are like look at these like Time crunch enemies they had to pop in here. This was, uh. This part of the game is the part of the game where clearly they ran out of time and money. And you'll be able to see what I mean here. I just tanked that as a. The sound that makes when it hits him is crazy. Okay, and I want to go down over here. There's a couple I There's a couple items to grab that aren't actually important to me, but I still want to get them. Also, it's fun to mess with those guys. <laughs> I could probably switch to Homing Crystal uh, for the Taurus Demons here, since they actually take two of these, but I do not want to. I also took a little damage from him. Good job, buddy. You have proven yourself more effective than... Oh. You have proven yourself more effective than every single one of your peers so far. I know people consider the Sorcerer build like a boring easy mode, and I can definitely agree considering where we are at this point in the game and how easily I'm wiping the floor with enemies that I should have at least a teeny bit of difficulty with with the way some of these areas are set up like this, you know, narrow cliffside. But like, come on. Get up! Why are you not... That stuff breaks your... items. Oh boy! I fucked that one up. So maybe a poke and a quick retreat dealing with these guys. Or I just switch over to Soul Arrow. Sorry about the weird UI crap, too. Is there one behind me? There's two behind me. Okay, you know what? That's a great, that's a great trade. I'll definitely trade a Soul Spear to just take them out. And I got a bunch of green Titanite off of them, so we got that going for us. What do we got here? You a Mimic. Nope. Sweet. Large Flame Ember. Uh, which means that I can make the best flame weapons in the game. Which I'm not going to do. Or at least I do not intend to do. Who knows, maybe we'll mess around with a different weapon. I really like this butterfly spear. The fact that it's pure magic damage, I can still kind of say, hey, I did a magic only run, build, run, 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 run. 
I got the magic runs. <laughs> I'm a child. Alright, so we took care of that. We grabbed the bonfire over there. And we're about to fight a boss. Right, so I got 40k souls just sitting on me, so wish me luck. This guy's not too tough, if I remember correctly. The one that's after him is. Because it's just another one of these guys. The problem is, like, the general area here. But, like, look at how much damage I do. So there's... That's... That's Demon Fire Sage. He was, a uh, pushover. Look at that. We've taken care of him. I got humanity. I got the Demon's Catalyst. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Because I currently have a Sorcerer's Catalyst with a magic adjust of 219. Demon's Catalyst only has a magic adjust of 185. Demon Catalyst forms from Isolith Molten Rock. Can be used as fire weapon. As fire weapon. The Demon Fire Sage was the first demon. Huh. And the last master of the original fire arts before the Witch of Isolith was engulfed by chaos, creating pyromancy. Let's take a look at that. It's just a tiny version of that big-ass axe that he had. And you can stab with it. Although I don't know why you would want to. Woohoo! We beat a boss. So let's switch back to our regular old boring sorcerer's catalyst continue on. Probably should have gone with that Catalyst of Manus or whatever the hell it's called. Alright, so this is a place I don't want to go yet. Although this opens up an absolutely fantastic shortcut. No, you know what? Let's go up and deal with the shortcut and then we'll come down and find the other shortcut. Uh, the the lore important shortcut. If I remember correctly, there might be like an item or two up here too. That might be worth snatching up. So there's a item here. So a brave warrior. Let's continue on up. That one's moving, but I can't target it. Such a weird area. Let's see. Item, no. Item, no, but a shortcut back. Item, no, and one of the cooler shortcuts in the game, I think. Because look at where this takes us. How awesome is that? Look, Quelag is right over here. Hey, Quelag. So I'm going to rest here. I have enough for a level? Hell yeah, I have enough for a level. I just beat a boss. Why wouldn't I have enough for a level? There we go. I think that needs to be 48, so the moment we get to 48, that's when we're gonna go back and deal with Seath. Because then I can beat Seath. Hopefully. Watch him be super resistant to magic. I can potentially beat Seath. <laughs> 
probably a better way to put that. Also, look at that. That's that's the boss room. I love it. So there are these messages here. Weakness back. Good luck. And this is where the secret area is. Need covenant. I don't know how to get that. I think you have to do a risky-ass jump there. Oh, maybe you don't. But we're going down here. Has this mouse been on the damn screen the entire time? I hope not. My unprofessional ass, super childish stream for kiddos. <sighs> so these things are a problem that apparently I can't even deal with. Just waste my soul spears on these guys. Okay, so if I hadn't gotten to the higher level of the Covenant, the Chaos Servant Covenant, this door would not open. And as you can see, there's more of these little dude bros back here. And the problem with these dude bros is... Okay, that was the one I was supposed to kill. The problem with those dude bros is that they cause... Our favorite character in the game to go insane. And so we want to come down here and we want to take care of... We want to take care of the one that I just took care of. The one with the damn... We want to take care of the one that drops the sunlight maggot because that's the one that causes the insanity the story insanity for a story bro of ours. So now that we've done that and we've definitively cleared that out, this is a shortcut that'll take us directly to the boss of this area, but we're not going there yet. We're coming up, or we're gonna go back the other way to fight a different boss and deal with some other stuff. Let's see, how's the stream looking? The stream's looking where do you come from? Doesn't matter anymore. There's also there's no point in me fighting those smaller ones. The smaller ones are not the problem. It's the one that drops the sunlight maggot that I want to kill. Because the interesting thing about the sunlight maggot is that it's a helmet, and it's not very good, but it is a light source. That kind of looks like the sun. To give you an idea who might be negatively affected by those things. Um, and as a light source, uh, it's usually something you want to grab before you take on the catacombs. Or the Tomb of the Giants, since the Tomb of the Giants is darkness. Um, but since I had the light spell... Look, another bonfire. Since I had the light spell uh, as a sorcerer, I didn't have to worry about that. I didn't have to worry about these turds. Coming all the way down these stairs. Don't you know you don't want none of this? It will give you these hands in the form of my stick. Alright, so let's continue on down this way. Which... I've only gone through here once, and I've only done, like, an all-bosses thing once. Usually I just skip this whole area, because you don't need to do it if you have access to that shortcut. And I always want access to that shortcut, because you always have a cool dude bro to help you. Speaking of cool dude bros, it's Solaire. I wonder what Solaire is doing here in a summonable state. Hey, Solaire, look at this dumb helmet I have. God, I'm having serious frame rate drops today, too. I apologize for that. So let's... Okay, we've got all the spells. So let's go through here. Uh, the frame rate's gonna suck through this area in general because the lava area has the worst frame rate in the game. Even worse than... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Even worse than the damn uh, Blight Town. 
because it's the water texture that causes, look at this thing, this thing is an awesome, a legit awesome boss. What causes the, the frame rate issues in those areas is the water effects. And here you have water effects that are glowing. So this thing's called the Demon Centipede or the, the Badass Centipede or something. It's the Centipede. Um, and obviously we can't see the name of the damn thing. Uh, but the big problem isn't so much the actual boss here. It is the lava. So what I want to do, because look at that. I want to get over here. No, 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 no. Oh boy. I want to get a drink in. <laughs> oh, this looks so bad. The good news is he's almost dead. Oh, I, I've got your attention now, do I? Oh, maybe I do not. So there's that guy. That guy sucks. Screw you, guy. And I got the orange charred ring off of that fight. And Solaire is going to go hang out somewhere else. So let's read the orange charred ring, because that's why-ish we came down here. I say why-ish because of stuff. Read message. Try kicking. Well, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, I'm going to across here. And let's look at the orange charred ring. This one. Oop. No, I want that. And I want to get rid of the covetous gold and look at the orange chard. An orange ring enchanted by a witch reduces lava damage. So now I'll be able to stand in the lava and it'll only cause like a little bit of damage as opposed to all the damage. Since his sores were inflamed by lava from birth, his witch sisters gave him this special ring. But fool that he is, he readily dropped it. And from that spot, a terrible centipede demon was born. So, this was the ring of the ceaseless discharge. And that idiot dropped it down here into the lava and it came flowing down. And then he's just standing up there being a ceaseless discharge and being all hurt all the time. So as you can see, I still take damage from the lava, so I don't want to hang around in it, but it's manageable. Look at this dead guy. This guy got hard. Green Titanite shard. Okay. So with this, we're actually able to go through the demon ruins a little bit better. And we want to go through the door over here. So I've got two items on me that boost sorceries. I've got the helmet and I've got the dragon crest ring, which is part of the reason that my uh, my sorceries are doing so much damage. Okay, so now here's the sad bro. Not a sun bro, a sad bro. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. <laughs> ah, delicious. <clears throat> so, he's starting to hollow out because he can't find his son, and he's basically losing hope. Which is kind of the idea behind hollowing out. Is you lose hope, or you give up, or you quit, or you achieve your goal. And so what would happen here is if I hadn't opened up that Chaos Servant thing, Solaire would have managed to get his ass all the way down there to the Chaos Servant area. And from there, he would have found that Sunlight Maggot. And he would have put it on and he would have gone insane and said, Oh, I have found my son. It's this glowing thing. And he would have gone insane and kind of hollowed out, but basically went insane. And then you would have had to fight his ass. And we don't want to do that, because if he goes insane and you have to fight his ass, then you are unable to use him for a very cool thing later on. Okay, so there's all these dragon butts down here, and they suck. They absolutely suck. And so we're going to do our best to avoid them. 
Uh, there's items over there that aren't worth grabbing for anyone. For anyone is the end of that sentence. I should be up on that. Oh boy, that's loud. Because I should have taken that and then used that to cross over to here. Oh well, what are you going to do? Soul of a brave warrior here. <laughs> so you can clear out all these little bastards. But you gain absolutely nothing from it. Like I said, there are items in the area. There's a bonfire hidden behind a hidden door in one of these things. But I think it's that other one over there. But I could be wrong. Oh, you're alive. And these guys are tough, too. Because look at that. They can take... A little over one homing crystal soul mass. And they only drop 2,000 souls, which, I mean, I guess that's fine, but like, it's not fine for me. Like, you can come down here and farm all those butts. You can absolutely do that. <laughs> but why? Yep, there's an item over here. And if you look there, that is actually the path we need to take to go up. It's underneath there. And this is clearly the we ran out of time and money area. Like 800%. So what I want to do is I want to drop down here. I know one of these damn things opens. I just gotta figure out which one it is. Which one's the damn one I want? Ah, this one, because there's a sign. There we go. And here's the closest bonfire to the boss. It'll be the one we'll be using to take care of the bed of chaos. Oh, neck pain. Silver Tracer. Man, it would be cool to be able to use that. But you need 27 strength and 20 dex. That increases stability, but I'm not too worried about that. Nah. What about armor? Can I reinforce anything that I have equipped yet? No? I need chunks and slabs. Which, I think we get another slab. You get another slab from the end of a certain quest line. Uh, that we are not, uh, probably not going to be able to finish. Alright, and this will take us up into the demon ruins. And we're actually going to go to the shortcut area. Did I sit? I did sit. We're going to go to the shortcut area through the back way to get there. Um, and the only reason is to uh, basically catch Solaire again and be like, yo, homie, what's up? And then see that he's still sad. Um, and this time he's extra super duper sad. Tight spot. really is a tight spot. Are you... Are you serious? Is this happening? Ah. Okay. Damn it. That would have been annoying, huh? news is when you hit him, you stun him. Because they're not fun to fight. They're not good enemies. 
They're not cool looking. There's literally... They're pointless. There is a pretty wild looking enemy down here, but there's... They're not... Used well, I guess, would be the way that I would go up or say it. I thought I heard somebody actually shooting fire. Okay, I thought I heard one of those guys. Oh, I should point out that that charred orange ring is not a fire resistance ring, so it doesn't help with fire. It's just for walking in lava. That's all it's for. So since these guys stop, I'll c also look. He's just floating there. It's dumb. Um, another stupid thing about these guys is... is or another... What the hell was I saying? I was trying to say something. Here, there's something here. What's here? Item ahead. Okay. Hey! Large soul of a brave warrior. Cool! Alright. And if I remember correctly, there's some shit about what's gonna happen, or about to happen. So, first of all, look at that fucking thing. Look at how crazy that thing looks. Hope y'all are ready for this. Da -na 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 -na. Okay, so. One homing crystal soul mass. That's cool. Sniper spot for... Oh, yeah. Look at those two glowing dots over there. It's a person. Be wary of... That was not the button I wanted to press. I thought I'd press that first, but whatever. Okay. So there's more area down there that is where the shortcut comes from, but the first thing I want to deal with is this Daughter of Chaos right here. Oh. Well, that was... Incredibly easy. Hey, look, Kirk is back. Hey, look, Kirk is gone. Wow, that was dumb. Nice try, Kirk. So we got his spike shield and we got his sword. The boss is down there, but we sure as hell ain't going there yet. Because there's more interesting stuff to see and do here. Way more interesting stuff to see and do here. Cool. So another one of them down. Look, an item. And that is not a mimic. With a chaos fire whip pyromancy. That's cool. Anything over here? Nope. Okay, let's go back down, or let's go down to the shortcut area. We will clear through the shortcut area, and then we will come back and mess around with Beta Chaos. Actually, no, I think we have enough souls to be at 48 intelligence and deal with Seath. You're not even good! And these guys are, like, stuck on the geometry, and... Ugh. This part of the game is a bore. A snore fest. Okay, so over here... Well, I fucked that one up. I should have been able to just kind of jump over it. Or not jump over it, but I should have been able to just, like, get a foot on there. Uh, because this is where we're supposed to do the damn thing. But, since I have totally screwed it up, we're, we're gonna have to either bonfire out to do the thing I wanted to do, or... Or worse. Let's see, can I get up there? I feel like there's a way to get up there. There is no way to get out of here, if I remember correctly. Like, from here, I'm screwed. 
Or am I? I think I am. I'm 99% sure that I am screwed now that I am down here. There's this that goes somewhere. Where do you go? You go up and over here. And that goes to a set of stairs that go down. Into this area where there's poison. <laughs> so this is supposed to be an impossible death pit. Clearly and, you know, basically. Uh, so let's see if we can't use this to somehow get that item over on the other side. Can I get out from this? I can get out from this. those guys being there before and it looked like they just popped in when we came up to this oh maybe they were over there they started running at me okay we'll deal with them later okay. so there's that we definitely have enough for seeth so we'll do seeth then bed of chaos and then that'll be the win a problem over here, however. And that's this big boy over here. Who is the final Titanite demon, and if I remember correctly, he is far, far more difficult to fight than the rest of his buddies. Partially because of this area we are in. And partially because he's just way stronger. Like, look at that! Four, four crystal soul spears. It took four crystal soul spears to even damage him. <laughs> All right. I feel like I feel like we're doing pretty good. Okay. So over here there should be hope. Hey, look, who's that? Maybe I could stab these damn things. Hey, look, it's Solaire. Being sad because the good sunlight maggot is dead. I guess I could call it the bad sunlight maggot, but whatever. Let's go talk to him. Normally, if you hadn't taken care of it and you'd gotten over here, he would be here with the thing on and you would fight him to the death. Have I done it all for nothing? Oh, my dear son. What now? What should I do, my son? My dear, dear son. Poor bastard. Would it all alive? Oh, my. Okay, so he's he's sad. But we've saved his life, technically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the Daughters of Chaos bonfire. And from there, I will get my 48 health. 48, 48 intelligence. I'll get my 48 intelligence, and then I will go kill the Seath, the Scale, the Liss. Uh, there's actually... It's actually a really tough, like, path to him. But it could be worse. Could be way worse. Actually, this is probably the least efficient way to get there. But I hit all the bonfires down in the area along the way. Which means that I will be able to warp to one of those to get back to the boss fight. Which was the idea to begin with. Because I'm going to have to go sit at one of those anyways. In order to uh, do the boss. Really? In order to do the boss. Because the boss is like an event boss. It's like an event puzzle boss. And it's terrible. The bed of chaos I'm talking about. Um, it is a terrible event puzzle, puzzle boss. Um, and it's going to take a few deaths to get through. It's part of the reason I didn't do it now.
Hey girl, I've killed almost every one of your sisters. There's one who's like a cool vendor I don't have to deal with. Alright, so there's 48 intelligence, so we got that going for us. Let's see what's going on at Firelink. Oh! Oh! Stretching! Anybody hanging out here that we haven't seen before? No? Okay. So I'm going to rest here before we head back off to the Duke's archives. And I'm going to take a quick break to take care of some stuff. So hopefully you'll bear with me. Hopefully the stream will be in better condition at some point here in the future. Once again, I'm sorry that the stream has been as shitty as it has been. But there's literally nothing I could do about it except not stream. And I'm streaming today. So see y'all soon.
Hey y'all, I'm back, we back, everybody's back. Stream quality is still not back, but what you gonna do when they come for you? So, I believe we are going to the Duke's Archives. So let's go to the Duke's Archives. And kill us a Dagron. I have it on good authority that Seath is in fact a bitch. So this is going to be a weird run once we get to the Crystal Caves for a number of reasons. One of the main reasons is because it's going to be a run. I do not want to fight anything in those Crystal Caves. I think there might be one thing I have to fight. But there's nothing that I want to fight. So like I said, we get to go on nice run through the forest and down into the caves, which if y'all haven't seen the Crystal Caves before is a damn trip. I think it's one of the coolest areas in the game. Like just in terms of like the visual aesthetic of it. And once you like actually get down in there, you're not really gonna have to deal with these guys running after you. But it's literally just this giant crystal spider web of crazy nonsense. So there's that guy right there, who once you get down here does not become a problem anymore. And there's like one or two other ones that are. So we're gonna go through here. And this is one of the weird things about it, is there's a lot of, like... Humanity. Oh, look at my guy. I am the Dark Sun Gwendolon. I will be eaten by a goo man in the next two, er, two games from now. <clears throat> oh, he's still coming. So, there are all these invisible paths that take us where we need to go. And luckily, many people have, including developers, have placed signs to tell you there's a path there. Because if you had no idea, if you had no idea, you were boned. So, I'm attempting to get past this one. Oh boy. Because where I actually need to go is this path, not the path that was back there. So, let's keep on moving. Imminent fall. And I've been knocked to my death. Which is why I usually want to roll around and avoid those guys. So, as you can see, this is... Uh, bleh. It's bleh. And I didn't actually sit at the Duke's archives, so let's do that damn warp again and then go through it. There is no easy way to get to this boss. There is no quick run back. The good news is, as y'all could see, except for those crystal golems, there isn't too much in the way of resistance. I didn't get a chance to show it off, but there's a couple crystal butterflies down there. And they're completely, they're inert. They're not actually going to fight us down there. Uh, unless we, like, swing on them first. Uh, which I always thought was really cool. Um, I don't remember if you get their souls. Like, the soul of a crystal butterfly, like the drop. Because I believe that's a unique boss drop. So, I don't think that's a way to farm for this spear if you used the the soul in a different way. Wow. Oh. I should also point out that those two uh, crystal golems down there are much bigger than the ones that uh, we just ran into. Uh, which is part of the reason they're a problem. Oh, there we go. Look at this. It's a dang on old crystal butterfly. Just hanging out with its big spear. Look at my spear. Looks like a crazier vert. Oh no, it's the exact same thing. The spear and the horn. <laughs> Such a cool, weird enemy, man. Okay. 
Enough of that. Let's keep going. Oh, neck pain. Oh. Looks like the fr the. Should I try it? No. I think I think that's. I think that one's a red herring. Yes, here. And hey, look at that. Is it up there that I have to go? It is up there that I have to go. Because if you look, you come up here, and there's a path. There's not a path. <laughs> oh, I totally forget what I'm doing down here. Oh, this sucks. Oh, I look and sound like an idiot, don't I? Tell me in the chat how big of a dumb, stupid idiot mouth I am. Just say it. Just type, you are a dumb, stupid idiot mouth. I believe in you. I believe in your ability to troll me in chat. Whee! <sighs> Let's get the stamina back up. So, the Seath boss fight itself, unless you're trying to get the Moonlight Greatsword, is not very hard. There's a gimmick to it right at the very beginning that can be avoided, well not avoided, but basically there's a gimmick that once you've taken care of the gimmick, you never have to worry about it again. Um, but the actual boss fight isn't too tough. The big things to watch out for in the actual boss fight are the fact that he inflicts curse. Um, with uh, some of his attacks. So some of his attacks can curse you, and obviously if you're cursed, uh, that's a whole new set of BS you have to deal with. I might have a curse bite ring on me. I don't remember. I don't think I bought one. Um, but there's ways to deal with the curse. Hello, Moonlight Butterfly. How you doing? You're looking good. I'm not going to mess with you. Because you become a serious problem. So where the fuck... Where do I go from here? I believe it's up there. Because there's signage up here. Look. Here. Here. I must be off of it by just a pixel. It must be off to the side. Maybe it's off to the side. So yeah, once again, I apologize to everyone for having to watch me go through this run over and over, but... <sighs> what are you going to do? I probably could have used the time I was just kind of grinding and putzing around in between streams to, like, figure out the path. But I didn't do that. So, you know, me even bringing it up. Seems like a dumb thing to do. Jeez. Those guys mean business. Okay. Let's continue on. Once we find it, we're go we're gonna be able to go straight to the boss. That's like the last. If I remember correctly, that is the last, like, super long, problematic, uh, path. <laughs> and, like, actually dealing with the, uh, those big crystal golems is not good. Ooh, somebody kindled somewhere, I think. I think that's what that is. That's when somebody kindles. Here. Yes, I see that it is here. It's gotta be over there. 
Can I? I cannot. Okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually deal with that guy. Oh, jeez. Unless he decides he's going to deal with me. He's slow, though. Look at this. But look at how much... him and then start slowly backing up in this direction you know I wonder if the dark bead is gonna be better for this type of guy yeah that does way more damage as long as I'm in close okay so he's taken care of so now we can actually look around and take our time First things first, let's retrieve those, what, 7,000 souls. And there's a blue titanite chunk. Oh, that's cool. What, what am I going to do with that? So you can see the damn thing falling down over there. But I don't think it is there. It's not back this way. See how you can see the stuff falling? So, yes, I see the sign. Thank you. Do I have prism stones? Oh. Let's try binoculars. Why not? Doesn't show me anything I don't already know. See how it's falling over there? But where is it falling from? Hmm. You know, why don't I look it up? Instead of wasting everybody's time, just take one minute to look it up. Path through Crystal Cave. So now we're in the Crystal Cave and we're going to be walking some invisible walkways. This part, I guarantee, I, I don't know who's the first person to figure it out, but God bless them. And whoever the first person to make the video was, God bless them too, because Let's see. the further example going online makes the game infinitely easier. I'm walking on nothing, what happened? Go this way, there's community right the trick is, you can see where the snow hits the ground, or it hits the invisible walkway, and that's your kind of marker for where you should be walking. Um, just walk right past all the moonlight butterflies, they don't really drop anything good, they don't give you a lot of souls, and uh, they're pretty hard to kill, they'll land after attacking like the moonlight butterfly monster. <sighs> It's a guy that gives a spell. Hmm. I wonder what the spell you get from him is. Oh, you don't make that drop. Well, that explains everything. Okay. So that path I was on up there, that's where I have to go. Looks like maybe this leads back up. To it. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So that's cool. I didn't know I could get back up from there. Because, yeah, what I'm supposed to do is jump on that path that I jumped on. Look, there's another one over there going over to that item that I'll never see again. I'm supposed to drop down here, but then this is supposed to be the path I take. See that? Look at this. Look at this path. See it all falling down here, and here we are continuing on with the actual thing. So, if y'all remember from probably two streams ago, uh, where I was in the Crystal Archives, or I was in the Duke's Archives, excuse me, dealing with some cool dudes, some cool duders, um... Actually, I think it was Logan talking about the secret of Seath's immortality. And the deal with that is Seath has a crystal that he's holding on to. And it's keeping him basically untouchable. Right? So without destroying that thing, you can't kill Seath. Oh, also, these guys drop Twinkling Titanite and all sorts of Titanite. And also... They're big clams, and look what's in there. They're skulls instead of stuff. Anyways, okay. So what are we looking at on... Oop. What are we looking at on curse resistance here? 12, 49, 17, 37. So probably pretty damn good curse resistance. So we're going to go in with what we have here. There's a bunch of these guys. Uh, fighting them in groups is actually pretty bad so we're just gonna move on here and have our first attempt at the boss who's going to pop in here so I don't know how he does with damage or with magic so something our happal that's not supposed to be what's happening that's a messed up cutscene from the UI stuff from DS Fix because I've never had this issue with DS Fix without the UI stuff. So that's Seath. There he is. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to go destroy a stupid crystal, which is directly behind us, actually. Okay. So once we destroy that thing, he will be vulnerable. And that was fast. And those fuckers got in here? Oh, well, this complicates things. So Seath does all these, like, crystal breath attack things. Oh, boy. And the, the breath things obviously cause curse, like I stated earlier. How do you do with those? First of all, they don't reach you unless I actually get in close. They do fairly poor damage. Oh, okay. So let's get a drink off. And switch to Soul Spears. Because Soul Spears have better range. Did that hit? Yes, it did hit. And it's doing good damage. Oh! So let's get to fuck. Oh boy! No! No bad. That's a bad. That's a bad drag on. I shouldn't be standing here. Once that breaks, that's when I can get back in. And yeah, that's a killer for frame rate for sure. Oh, I gotta get out of that. 
Uh, and unfortunately, the only way to do that is by getting in close. Okay, I'm just gonna have to tank this. I gotta get out of that. The good news is I'm able to stand in it. Oh, that does a ton of damage and it stuns him. Woo! All right, so here's the Seath kill. Yeah! Hey, Seath, I heard you're a bitch. So that was Seath the Scaleless. That felt really good. Hopefully the damn stream didn't mess up in the middle of that because, oh boy, has that been a serious issue for me. But now that I've done that, I've got to bequeath Lord Soul Shard. And from here, I could go and I can talk to Logan, who's going to be freaking out. I want to go to the Duke's archives. And I want to talk to Big Hat Logan. I can't remember if his hat increases sorceries like... Uh, like Gwendolyn's helmet here does. If it does, I would love to run with that hat. Because it's just such a cool, like, sorcerer thing. So what I want to do is I want to come over here and I want to talk to him. And he should be freaking out now. Oh, there you are. It's been a while. Or maybe, or maybe not. Were you just here? Yeah, he's losing it. it my sense of time. I'm actually going to look it up. Big Hat Logan. Let's keep talking. Yeah, look, he's he's losing it. I think I have to buy all of his spells, so... Okay. Yeah, see, he's losing it now. Okay, so that's about it for him. Now we have to go back to where we originally fought Seath. Oh, and he will be there. And he will be square. Let's round off intelligence up to 50, shall we? We've, we're getting the souls for it. So I don't remember how to get to the original area. But I think we have to run through here. Can I get around you yet? No? Why is there a channeler? I killed all the channelers, or at least I thought I did. There's still a channeler alive. How about that? Alright, so if I remember correctly, this is the original staircase area thing. I need to drink. I desperately need to drink. So now I need to remember how it was I got to his thing in the first place. Which I think was actually up these stairs. Oh boy. I have brought the party to me. And those arrows are doing a ton of damage. I thought about doing Scholar of the First Sin as, like, the next big, like, stream thing. And I wanted to see how viable, like, a bow and arrow build was. And the short answer is it sure as hell isn't. So 
So that's not happening. Um, oh boy, where did you come from? All right, let's let's continue figuring this out. So I'm still gonna do Scholar of the First Sin um, as like a full stream eventually. I just don't know what kind of build I'm gonna run when I do it. Was it over there? Was that the way to Seath's big hell house? I don't remember. Because you come in there originally, and then you head this way, I believe. Yes, this is the original way you go. All right, and since I rested there... No, this is not the original way you go. Because this is just a balcony. And it's not that way. Hmm. Anybody in the chat have any idea? where to go and what to do. Let's see if maybe going to the top of this will do it. Most likely not. Ooh! Oh, wow, you take, uh... Oh, boy! I really don't know where I'm going and what I'm doing here, do I? If I remember correctly, it was at the top of the archives on this side. Yeah, you do that. Let's pull this. Will this take me to the top? Is it at the top? I think it's at the top. I think it's at the top of this area is where his crap is. All right, there comes the elevator. Yes, it's coming back to me now. Okay. So I have a feeling Logan's going to be super, super fine with taking hits from sorceries, and he's going to have some of his own, and that's going to suck. But he will be up here. Logan, come out to play, yay! This will probably be the first time I've ever actually taken a look at this room, too. Oh, look at this room. I see the chest, but I don't... see anybody. Hmm. Okay, so what do we got in here? There should be a sorcery in here, or a large magic... Amber, interestingly enough. All right, let's take a look up here. Because this is also a place I've never been before. God, this place is messed up. Almost as messed up as my crappy stream. Oh, look at that. There's items up here, too. Soul of a great hero. Heck yeah. Is this the stairwell I came up? No, I came up that one. So let's look a little more. And then, if that doesn't work, we'll take a moment to figure this out by reading the wiki. Which it looks like is what we're going to have to do. What's the top of this room look like? God, this is just like... Oh, this is such a cool friggin' room, man. So let's see. Huh. 
Huh. Okay, so let's... Let's bone. Where's my bone? Give me the bone. Let's bone back to the bonfire and then come back here. He should be here. Then once we take care of him here, then we go back to where he was before. Then we come back. Or wait, no. We go there, we fight him, we get some stuff off of him. Then we come back here, where he is no longer. Okay, so by going there and looking, I have confirmed that that mf -er is in fact gone. So now we get to go find him. Well, not find him, but we get to do that run again, basically. That's also going to mean coming up here. Alright, now we sit here and wait. Uh-oh. We sit here and wait? Oh, boy! One more hit and I'm dead. Oh, and there it is. Damn it. Okay. I guess we have to take time to clear our way through that. Gosh darn it. Oh, well. What are you going to do? I was already hollow, so whatever. All right. So taking it easy this time. And not dragging the entire party with me. Although that elevator should be where I where it should be there now. I only have five Estus from that. That's not good for me. Okay. Let's keep on keeping on. I feel better this time. Alright, so we've taken care of that one. Okay, the backstab will give us a little bit of... Take a quick drink. Okay, maybe not take a quick drink. Keep getting shot and stabbed. Grab souls. And profit. Now it's about to be the ultimate sorcerer on sorcerer battle. Battle. Then we're going to get some sick, awesome, legit spells. Type of spells you'd be charged $9.99 microtransaction for. Actually, no, there is apparently one really cool spell, like the final sorcery spell we'll get. Oh, hey, look, there he is. Just soul spears? Like, all right. Oh, you're n nothing. So there's Big Hat. He's dead. He only dropped 1,000 souls. And we've got the White Dragon Breath, Big Hat, and twin Tin Crystallization Catalyst. So let's take a look at these things. Oh. Tin Crystallization Catalyst. Look at that magic adjust. Holy crap. All right. What does it say? Catalyst imbued in terrifying crystal magic used by Logan after his fixation on Seep. Makes all sorceries incredibly powerful, but demands extremely high intelligence from its wielder and halves sorcery uses. So I wonder if that's going to be as useful as I think it's going to be. Well, let's equip it. That looks like a... Oh, somebody just died to seat there. I wonder how much more powerful that is. We'll figure it out. Let's go back and look at the hat. We never looked at the Sunlight Maggot either. Alright, so Sunlight Maggot. A loathsome parasite that inhabits Lost Isolith. It is complete, completely immobile yet still lives. When worn on the head, it emanates blinding light, which is why it is known as a Sunlight Maggot. 
Let's see if you have a dark moon power that enhances. Okay, where are we looking here? There's Big Logan, or Big Hat, Big Logan's hat. <laughs> There's Big Logan's hat. There's Big L Hat Logan's hat. The gigantic hat worn by the great sorcerer Logan. It completely hid his face, which led to his nickname, Big Hat. Famously antisocial, Logan, Logan used it to block out noise and people's stares so he could focus on his own thoughts, but it does not possess any special magic powers. So there we are wearing our sick Logan hat with our twin tin crystal. I thought I heard something. Tin crystallization catalyst. We should try this out on someone, I say. I say... And it... Oh, it totally does have magic uses. So I wonder I wonder if the trade-off is is good or if it is not good. Who we got? Riggenstein. Hello, how's it going? Cleric armor using the Fang Boar Helm. Yeah, I got the souls for that. Uh I don't have it on me right now, so I'll snatch it up here in a second when I get back to Firelink. Sound good? Hopefully it sounds good. Let's go back to my crown of the sun. That is not worth it. Okay. So let's switch back to the regular Sorcerer's Catalyst for now. So we grab Logan's stuff, but it's not really useful for us here. So I wonder if I go back down here, if I grab the set. When you say the cleric set, are you talking about the starting cleric set, or are you talking about the uh, the cleric set that you can pick up from the, whatchamacallit, from uh, patches? Sage robe, traveling gloves, traveling boots. And Logan's Catalyst. So we now have Logan's full set. Oh, that was weird. The stream's being weird, too. Let's go back and do it now. Since we've taken care of Seath, the Beta Chaos is the next unfortunate thing. Okay, Fire Link Shrine. Here we go. Cleric set that you get from Patches. Got it. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go buy it up. I definitely got the souls for it. Hey, Laurentius. Oh! I wonder if... You are going to lose it since Logan's dead. Oh, hello. Then let as promised. Goodbye. Do stay. Let's try this really quick. Logan's hat. And... Logan's robe, traveling gloves, and traveling boots. So there's Logan's set. Let's see. Oh, hello. Then, let, as promised, it's not that I'm concerned for Master Logan, even in this treasure. Huh. No, the reason. Well, it's not that I'm concerned. For, no, the reason. I'm okay, well, Logan's dead. I'm wearing his crap. <laughs> All right, let's buy this crap up. Let's buy this crap off and show up oh, and show it off. So yeah, just bed of chaos and then the finale of the game. Oh, you again. Fancy that. Sup, homie. Come at the perfect time. What you got? Some new gems have come my way. More dead people? Especially just for you. Okay. What you got? Nothing new here, nothing new here. Nothing new here. All right, so let's grab the cleric armor. Cleric gauntlets, cleric leggings. And then you wanted. Don't you? <laughs> and then you wanted the boar helm. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Fang boar helm. Cleric armor. Cleric gauntlets and the cleric legging. Looks like a big boy. I look pretty good. I, guess. I don't know. <laughs> Oh boy, my character is not built for this. Look at this slow, dumpy walk. 
Let's actually look at the walk animation, shall we? Here, let's turn around to the front. Slowly walk. Yeah. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, no problem, dude. I'm a bore man. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Alright, so let's actually look at... It's good, by the way, right? Uh, let's look at Logan's set versus the dingy set. It's in the 40s, the 20s, and I've got 49. It might be better. Let's bump it up a little bit and see how it compares to that dingy set. Can I love? Yeah, I can. And it takes twinkling, so maybe it is really good. And maybe it's totally not, and I'm wasting all this twinkling titanite that I'm not using for anything else, so whatever. Alright, so let's look at the plus five versus the dingy set. Alright, so that's 60s, 40s, and 60. It's got better magic, fire, and lightning defense. The dingy set does. But Logan's is better for physical. The dingy set has that curse resistance. Good. Good. I'm glad. Glad I could help. Let's see. But Logan's has better bleed and poison. We're going to stick with the dingy set for now. Because we're about to go deal with the bed of chaos. And that is... Actually the worst. Like, it's actually the worst ever. Alright. Oh, scratch my eye, grab a quick sip of water, and I will continue on. Sorry about the stream quality, by the way. I'm having the weirdest hiccups in my internet connection today, and there's nothing I can do about it. So, hopefully it's good. Ugh, hopefully it's good. Alright, so I want to go to... Tombs, tombs, tombs. Chasm of the Abyss? That's not where I want. Altar of the Grave Lord? No. Daughter of Chaos. Wow, are you telling me that none of those other bonfires I can actually travel to? Because there's... There's Daughter of Chaos that I can travel to. Painted World Undead Depths. And then there's... That's all... That's for the damn Covenant, and that's all for the DLC. So yeah, I guess I'm going to the Daughter of Chaos. Darn it. Oh, I never looked at his catalyst. I gotta check that out. Oh, eyeball. Mmm. Ah, I'm gonna reset everything. There we go. Okay. Logan's Catalyst has a higher magic adjust by a little bit, and that scaling is good. Very powerful when used by one of superior intelligence. Catalyst of Big Hat Logan, the great sorcerer and seeker of knowledge. Originally the same catalyst employed by the Venheim sorcerers, only terribly strengthened over time due to Logan's use. So this is a better... a better catalyst... By far, and this is the one we're going to be bringing along on the ride here. So, without further ado, let's go see if we can't continue uh, Ziegmeier's burp. Let's go see if we can't continue Ziegmeier's quest line. And then let's see if we can't from there. Oh, wrong way. Uh, let's see if we can't from there do the Bed of Chaos and then maybe complete Siegmeier's quest line. Which actually is going to have me go into the, uh... Go into the, the... The... What's the word I'm looking for? The place with trees. The forest. Dark Moon Forest. Dark Root. Dark Root Forest. I think I'm going to be going to Dark Root Forest again for that. Am I lost? I think I'm lost. I think I was supposed to go over here. To 
get to the thing. And I thought I didn't see it. Well, we'll see. Oh, yeah, it's on the, the other side. I keep looking over here when it's over here. Because I'm dumb. So I'm a dumb child man. All right. I wonder if Solaire is still going to be hanging out up there. Or down here, wherever the hell he is. Is he still sat there sad? Uh, I'm not seeing him. Which means that he's probably moved on. Unless he's supposed to be up here. In which case, he's up here. Nope. He's moved on. Which is good. It means that Solaire has proceeded to the point in the game that we would want him at. Uh, let's see. I never did the, the Dragon Breath. Annoyingly. So let's deal with this bastard. God, he is so powerful, man. It's almost down. One or two more. Using these is not a big deal to me because, like I said, the boss coming up is a, like a puzzle boss. Do you just drop that stuff every time? The Titanite Catch Pole. Oh, wow. Titanite Catch Pole. Weapon of the Titanite Demon, a faceless stone monster born from Titanite Slab, one of the enchanted weapons, perhaps from residual power, of the Titanite Slab. Known for its leaping attacks, which come smashing down on foes from above. 16 strength, 14 dexterity. Huh. Is that a halberd move set? I think it's a halberd move set, but we're not going to mess around with it. Because I love my Moonlight Butterfly Horn. It is a great little weapon for this type of build, and I'm very happy that I got it. It's taken us a very long way through this. And it's going to continue carrying us. Although carrying is probably not the right word. because my friggin' magic has been carrying me through, like, the latter half of this game. This was great in the beginning, though. This is great for, like, mid-game bosses that are weak to magic. This thing was awesome. All right, are you here? Sieg, bro. I don't see him. All right. Bed of chaos. Here we go. Let's go. It's do fight yeah time. Actually, it's not yet. We're going to go around this way and do a thing. And the thing I'm going to do is go rest at that one bonfire. Because that is a much shorter run than what we just did. Like I said, we run past these guys... Who, as you can see, are just the most useless. Like, look at this. Like, the only time they can even touch me is when I'm just slowly walking around. That's it. Be wary of liar. <clears throat> well, I don't know who that liar is, but I don't care. Let's see. Do I still have the ring equipped? I do, and I'm not taking it off because it's not going to be useful here. Maybe the poise ring would be useful here, honestly. Like, I could take off the dragon crest ring for sure. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, 
Where is your ultimate spell, sir? White dragon breath. I need 50. I do need 50, not 48. Ooh, back pain. Sorcery developed by Logan during his infatuation with Seat the Scaleless. Emit crystal breath of Seat the Scaleless. Although it no longer causes curses, what madness caused old Big Hat to appropriate this frightful power of the ancient Dagrons? So I can't actually equip it, and that's fine. Let's see. I don't think I can... I don't think there's anyone worth summoning here. Because, like... There's no sound. Boosts poise. Equip load. Yeah, we want that poise ring. And the reason we want the poise ring is because the boss is going to be slapping us around stupidly. And I need to be able to take one, maybe two hits from it. Per time we're going through here. Man, this is and this is like a an unfun long run back to the boss too. Is the other problem with this boss. There's a lot of problems with this boss. And I mean, you'll you'll see it definitely once I actually get in there too. You'll be like, "Oh, this is bad. Who friggin' thought of this?" Catalyst is definitely a little better. <laughs> Between that... Well, I mean, without the Dragon Crest ring on, I'm doing less damage, but... Alright, everyone. Wish me luck. Ganbate. I want to basically take care of one phase of this boss per death. If I can do two phases of this boss on the first death, I'll be ecstatic. But look at this thing. It's a big crazy demon tree. I want this out. Okay, there we go. Part one's down, or phase one is down, which is we've taken care of one part of this. The problem is that makes the boss harder. And you can't see it because of the stupid artifacting, but it now has a crazy flame stand sticking out of its back on one half. Oh boy, that's super... There we go. Look at that thing. Also, the level's gonna fall apart. You can see how stupid this is. And, like, because of the way the floor falls out, you are forced to get in clo- At least the holes will be there next time. Because of the way the level falls out, you're forced to get in close so that you can get hit by the boss. Oh. <sighs> Wonderful. So this is the reality of this boss fight, is it's just like... I guess it's a cool concept, but, like, between the run and it not being fun getting knocked around, it's just goofy and just like, come on, man. You can do better than this. Hey, somebody kindled. That's nice. Works for me. Like, look, there's... There is... 
zero threat from these things. As long as you're running, you can outrun their attack. Like if I were to say one good thing about this area, it's not even good, it's just that, oh, the enemies aren't great. The enemies aren't, uh, the enemies are terrible, but the run back isn't the worst. All right, time for phase two, which is hitting that big testicle on the right now. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> Let's go. And I'm not even concerned about those souls. What did I have, like 19, maybe, no, like around like 10, 12,000 or something? Look at that bullshit! <laughs> oh boy. Worst boss fight in the series. The series! Ugh. The whole series. The whole thing. All of it. Just a waste. Well, here's this run again. Like I don't even I don't even have anything to say at this point. It's just a matter of going through it and getting lucky two more times. Why? Like, I feel like this area, they didn't even have time to, like, playtest all of it. Like, they had just enough time to playtest it and be like, does it work? Yeah, it works. Okay. Let's top off on that last little bit of health and keep going. You just gotta go at this speed. Doing that makes the controller vibrate like crazy. Alright, so I'm gonna run, and then I'm gonna immediately put my damn shield up. Okay, I think we've gotten through here, okay. It can hit you with an attack here, because it gets like a flame attack. So that big bone flame stand arm is coming out the other side is what's happening. Gosh. There it is. So you can see that like, there's like a body sticking out of the body kind of thing, which honestly I think is cool. It's... Like, how dumb is that? <laughs> Great. Well, the good news is now, after the five-minute run back, it's just a run straight up the middle and a jump. And as long as nothing's exploding while I do the jump, I win. Is the long short of it. Stupid freaking thing. We're going to see if regular homing soul mass is going to do good against that dumb, weird, berserk Cthulhu monster here. I feel like those mon those monsters to me look like reused ass. Not these things, but the big, weird head sucker or whatever. Is. Hey, look, there's an item up there. I Those feel to me like reused assets from Demon Souls to be if I'm being perfectly honest, which I'm attempting to be, by telling you my opinion.
Let's see, is this enough to kill you? It is! Interesting. 5 times 150 times 5, that's 750. So I went to 750, whereas the crystal was doing like 812. Das ist interessant. Alright, wish me luck. Wish me luck on the last, last try for this. I hope it's the last try. It's already attacking me. So the floor in the middle of that is supposed to drop out, and that's what I was trying to get to while still not being knocked around, and clearly that didn't happen. Oh boy. Now maybe if I upgraded the shield to have slightly better stability, I wouldn't eat it on that second hit, you know what I mean? Then again, I should also be able to roll through it, but I don't know the timing. I really don't. I got a lot better with, like, the invincibility frames on roll timing in the second game, and I had some trouble with it in the third game. Um, the second game gives you the ability to increase the invincibility frames on your roll through a stat as well, which a lot of people didn't like, but I thought was, like, a pretty interesting idea. Fuck. A pretty interesting idea for the game itself. Because, like, oh, people suck at rolling. Well, let's give them a stat that lets them actually, you know, make it a little easier for them. And I thought it was cool. It's not following me. I'll take a drinky drink here. And let's try again. <laughs> Wish me luck! Right, well, being on the ground means I don't take that. Okay, so the floor's out at least. And as you can see, with the way that damn thing is set up, you have to go through two of those. Ugh. This is one of the reasons I was saving this for last. I should have just done this off stream, honestly. I should have just never acknowledged that this was a boss in the game. It's my... F you to the Souls team for making it this bad. I mean, I guess I could equip something heavier and I would move slower. Maybe I'll do that. Because sorcery is worthless here. Absolutely worthless. There's no point in me... You, there, there, like... There's no class benefit. You know what I mean? Like, Moonlight Butterfly... You, you have the class benefit of having ranged attacks with... You know... Like, strong ranged attacks. Uh... You know, heavy builds can tank hits and use, like, great shields and stuff like that. Dex builds move really fast. But, like, there's no benefit to be doing, being or doing anything here. There's no benefit to the better chaos. It's just a bad fight. I don't even think you get that much in the way of souls for beating it, either. Like, I think maybe you get... 40,000 souls... All right, wish me luck again. I guess I could try a roll. Gosh, that is so super frustrating. So 
So I'm always going to take that second hit. And then I'm going to take a random third hit that I can't even see. Jesus Christ. No, I said I should have tried to roll there and then didn't do that. Oh. God. The absolute worst part of the game, too. So it's like one of those, like, why bother? You know, now that I think about it, I've never beaten this thing without a tank build. Not a tank build, but like a heavy build. Something with like really, really, really good medium armor. Hmm. Crap's making me hungry, too. It tried to puke on me. How dare it. Different strategy. Do I have the whole guardian set? Almost. Alright, now I'm a big slow boy. <laughs> this is the least sorcerer thing ever. But I should be able to tank. I should be able to tank a tank in this damn thing. Because this is one of the heaviest sets in the game. The fire will be a problem. But those dumbass swipes that have been getting me every time here. It did it late. It did it late. One more try, and then I'm going to take two minutes to give myself a snack. Now the run back's going to be even slower. Now the run back's going to be even faster. God, I look like crap. Look at me. God, my stream quality looks like crap. I am sorry to anyone who's stuck watching this. Especially, like, this section here. This is going to get... This is going to get cut... This is going to get cut once it goes up on Archive on YouTube. Much faster I move naked. So look at my sweet butt. So I didn't even get to see if I was able to tank that hit. <laughs> Alright. Once again, wish me luck again. I'm going to get up there. I'm going to tank the hits. And then I'm going to go. <laughs> okay, well, I took that. All right, time for a break for me. Friggin' bet of chaos. Worst boss in the whole, worst boss in gaming. Rather play an EA game than deal with you. All right, I'll be back.
All right. Let's kill this stupid bed of chaos, shall we? Let's wreck it. Let's ruin it. <clears throat> hmm. 70 stability. God, I look terrible. Okay, let's see. I unmuted myself. Yes, I unmuted myself. I grabbed myself a quick snack and ate a bunch of crap. <clears throat> grabbed myself a beer, which you will see me consuming here shortly, especially if this continues to go badly. <clears throat> Now I'm going to try and use this crystal shield to reduce stamina damage from that those stupid swipes. Because if I can make it through that second swipe, even if I have no stamina left, I will then be able to do a jump or a roll to get to the platform I need to get on. Which, once I am there, I am more or less unassailable by the boss. The boss can't touch me there. And that's what we're counting on. Or at least that's what I am counting on. I wish, like, two-handing a shield... Increased stability. That would be cool. I screwed up. Alright, once again, y'all wish me luck. Oh, that's so much better. Look at that. Yes! This is what I need. And I've done it. Now I run up here. And I bust my way through all of this. So you know that big thing we've been fighting? That's not the bed of chaos. Let me hit it. That's the bed of chaos. I just had to kill that thing. The little bug. That thing's in the second game. So there's your bed of chaos down. Let's get this heavy unsorcerer-like crap off of us. Get rid of this stupid ring. additional attunement slots where it produces no sound whatsoever. Uh, that probably would have helped with this fight too. Okay, Havel's Ring. Let's put that back on. Why not? Alright, and let's go back to our dingy, dingy set. Burp, burp. And I think we have enough to hit oh, 50 intelligence. So now I can use that Seath attack. And for that, I want to equip something different. Where are you? There we are. All right, so we now have the most powerful, most damaging spells in the game, and we have everything we need to beat Dark Souls. So we're gonna go beat Dark Souls. Oh. I 
actually very quick. Make sure I have it equipped so that I'm not falling through the existence. Because I don't think I ever rested at the at the Chamber of Kings or whatever the hell it's called. So we're going to go through the abyss. <clears throat> and we're going to talk to Kath again. We're about to do it. We're about to beat Dark Souls. We're about to fight us a Gwyn. Yeah. What is it? I am your guardian. Go on. State your wish. Hope you all hang out with me for the beating of the Dark Souls. Very well. Let's go. Still. And trust thy flesh to me. With our sick sorcerer build. I'm excited. We can do it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the actual end of Dark Souls. I never thought I'd get here on stream. I'm having, unfortunately, a couple issues with the stream. Like that from the UI stuff. Hopefully not too big a deal for all y'alls. Alright, so let's dump all this crap in here and then let's go back and talk to old boy. Where is my good sorcery ring? There it is. Hey, look, there's somebody else hanging out there. <laughs> let's offer these souls. We're gonna do it! Man, look at my hollowed out butt. We've done it! Fantastic. Oh, I gotta switch out the shield, too. I don't really need that stability shield anymore. Although, you know, it might be useful for this boss fight. Who knows? We'll see. Maybe it'll, the crystal shield I have equipped will hang out a bit. There's a couple things I want to do here. First, I want to use a bunch, use some humanity. Because I want to be human for this. Also, that looks awesome. Oh, I get 20 there, so I guess I popped an extra humanity. Oh, well. Humanity restored. Alright, let's go over here and talk to Frampt and see how freaked out he is that I did it. Magnificent. Yeah! Not really. I'm the Dark Soul. I got you, fam. All right, so I've never seen it before, so we are very quickly going to use this white dragon breath and then rest again and then continue on. That's a pretty freaking cool spell. It takes a while to cast, but whatever. It comes with 20 uses, too. Should I just crystal the boss to death? Should I be like, My Lord Gwyn Seath sends a message. And kill him with it. Also, look at this cool, cool nonsense. And listen to the change in audio cue. And it's gonna change again here. When we get over here, and look at this. Man, I'm sorry about everything dropping, burp, dropping out like that. I feel really bad about that, but there really isn't anything I can do at this point. So this is the Kiln of the First Flame. This place is freaking amazing. <clears throat> That's it? That's all you're good for? Okay. Well, the good news is I have this stupid spear. The spear that has given me... Wow. I should probably stop talking crap and do the fighting. I should do fight, yeah. The spear that has carried me through this entire game. Not this entire game. I actually didn't get it until like the 40% mark because you can't get it till In Orlando. In Orlando. I got it in In Orlando. Bra. Yes, I am an idiot. Oh! 
These hits you got, bro. I can respect it. Come on. Yeah, you weren't... You weren't too bad. Red tight night chunk. So you can... These guys come back. These are the first black knights you run into in the game that come back. So you can... Once you get to the end of the game, you can farm them for items before completing the game and going on to New Game Plus. This is also, like, totally your vic that, that victory lap area. There we go. I got the words out. Look at that. I can speak. I, the person streaming, who's basing at least some of audience retention on my ability to be cool and talk cool, can actually speak. It'd be funny if I could kick these guys off. We're almost there, everybody. And I don't anticipate... I hate to say it, but I don't anticipate much of a fight from the very end of this. <laughs> There's the entire Black Knight set, which is a fantastic set for heavy builds. Medium heavy builds can use it really well, too. It's one of the best sets for that type of setup. Now, here is the reason we're human. Here is the reason we went through all that convoluted crap and did all that humanity farming. It's this. It's that right there. Because I want to fight the boss with Solaire. Because he's the only other one that makes it here. In the original version of the game, before they had to cut a bunch of content, Oscar of Astora was supposed to fight you after you fight the final boss, or right before. I can't remember which, but as of this game, where this is this is what we got, that's who made it. Solaire, our boy. I can't praise the sun, so I'll give you a shrug. I'm excited. I hope you're all excited, too. To kill Gwan. Gwan Duan Chuan Chuan. Solaire hit him with two hits for 720 freaking damage. My god. Solaire is stupidly strong. Actually, having him here trivializes this last boss. Especially for a sorcerer like myself. Who will be using same old spells. I'll use a couple white dragon breaths. Alright, I hope you're all ready. Here it is! Solaire, you've come with me this far. Help me on this one last journey. I have here to end you for men. Oh, you got a good hit in. Solaire killed him. It wasn't me. Honestly, an amazing final boss. We just, I'm just built to destroy bosses like that. So, we have just beaten Gwen. We are here at the end of Dark Souls. If I touch that, I kindle the flame and continue the Age of Fire. And if I leave, I bring about the Age of Dark. And I am the Dark Lord! It is me, Dio! So freaking cool. Cheers to everyone who's come this far with me, especially through this horrible last stream. I once again apologize for that. 
We are here to serve your highness. I am the Dark Lord in my woman's skirt and my big dumb Gwendolyn helm. I feel really good. We've done it. We've done it. Yes. Did the game freeze? No, the game did not freeze. And that, everyone, is Dark Souls. Whew. I feel so good to have beaten it. Yes! So let me set my controller down over here. I want to thank everyone who's come along on this journey with me. I didn't think this stream was going to go very well. And in terms of viewers, it hasn't gone very well. But that's fine, because the video on demand over on YouTube is doing very well. If you're watching it there, thank you. I stream this stuff. You should check out my Twitch. <sighs> I've been doing this to raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation for a very specific thing that I have going on with a very specific time frame. As of the time of me streaming this, that fundraising isn't going too well. We've got a couple people who've been cool enough to donate. And I'm not trying to guilt anybody watching this into doing that, but... Yeah. I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm just happy to have completed this. Emmy Evans sung this. You hear this? That's the lady who does all the singing for the Nier games, which is some of the best music in video games, which is awesome. I feel so very accomplished by beating this. It feels wonderful. I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed streaming it. This was wonderful. Yeah. Especially after Bed of Chaos, this just feels good, man. I'm just gonna sit through this and let these names scroll. I really hope you all enjoyed this. If you're watching this on VOD, if you managed to have caught the archive of the screen, scream the stream let me know <laughs> let me know what else you want to see i really want to keep doing these i want to do scholar of the first sin next i want to follow that up with dark souls 3 i want to do all the dlc for all of them it's great it feels so good to do and stream and just have that success where i can share it with people even if it's just people in chat it's great I want to thank everybody who actually came out and hung out. It was super cool of you all. I'm just some dude streaming video games over Twitch just like a million other people and you chose to come here and I super appreciate that. And I hope that you enjoyed yourselves, of course, because at the end of the day I'm trying to create some sort of entertainment. But we did it! Still feels great. Still feels great! <sighs> I might do a little Dark Souls 2 later. Scholar of the First Sin. Why not? If y'all are down for that, let me know. 
so one of the things that happens here once you excuse me once you yes, beat the game indeed. is it immediately throws you the right into new game plus the, the, the following games don't do that which i appreciate but like what else are you going to do in the world you know and in this land the undead are corralled and led to the north I almost wonder if they don't throw you into it immediately. Where they are locked away. I almost wonder if they don't throw you into it immediately. To like kind of reframe everything. Because when you get to this part the very first this time, you know next to nothing about anything. <clears throat> All you get is, is information about the undead and that you're here. And then I wonder if this is just like them throwing you right into it is them reframing the beginning of the game. You know? Man. That feels good. So thank you once again, everyone who came out to the streams, everyone who watched. I once again apologize for this specific finale being so messed up with the damn streaming issues. There was nothing I could do. So thank you, everybody, who came out. If you enjoyed this, you should definitely follow the channel. This stream will be archived at the YouTube channel that you can find in the links below. I was attempting to raise money for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and if you're interested in donating, you can click the Make-A-Wish button below the video here on Twitch. Uh, from there, it'll take you to my personal fundraising page where you can uh, learn more or donate. Thanks again, everyone who came out. I appreciate you. I appreciate Dark Souls. I appreciate being able to stream. I'll catch you next time.